What, if any, communications did you have with Kate James about your issues with Mr. Depp? Objection hearsay. Ms. James has testified. I'll sustain the objection. All right. Well, we can take that down, Michelle. In the February, I'm going to jump to February, March 2016. What, if any, communications did you have with Mr. Depp about a prenup? Well, after the, uh, after the engagement, but before the engagement party, I started to, um, I started to feel like it would make, you know, I know that he earned significantly more than me, he's a successful actor. I wanted to eliminate any doubt in, in his mind and in other people's minds, so I brought it up to him and brought it up to my therapist. Um, Objection hearsay. She's just saying that she brought it up to her therapist. She's not saying what she said. But please focus on Mr. Depp, okay? Of course. Um, Johnny said he would tear it up. Uh, if I, he said, if, I, if you ever brought one up to me or if I ever saw one, got my hands on it, I'd tear it up. Only way out of this is death. Only way out of this is death. And I, um, I, I thought it, I thought it would like, I didn't care either way, but I did feel that it would eliminate suspicion or doubt and it would make things easier. And I told him over and over again, you know, are you sure? Are you sure? Maybe, maybe we should do this. And he, one time he said to me, he's like, kid, are you already thinking of how you're getting out of this? Are you already planning to get out of this, kid? You already, you already planning on leaving? It was, that was um, the same, it was around the same time as the moving in together conversation. Um, it was, I, he accused me of having one foot out. Um, and they kind of were happening around the same time. You know, I still had my apartment and we're engaged now. Uh, he was asking me to redecorate uh, Sweetser, his main house, and kind of move in to the, to the ECB building downtown where my best friend was living um, at this time. Uh, while the decorations and the, and the remodeling had been done on Sweetser. And so these conversations were kind of happening about how to build our future together and how we were going to move forward together. And uh, I, you know, um, I, I would have forgotten about the, the extent that we had those conversations er, early on in the engagement if it hadn't have been for my therapist's notes. I'm sorry, if it hadn't been for your what? If it hadn't been for my therapist's notes, oh. uh, which were okay. taken at the time when I was talking to her about this and my conversations with Objection John. hearsay. Okay. I'll we'll sustain the objection. We'll move on. Okay. Let's take it to March 2014. Did there come a time there was an engagement party? Yes, so, um, I, but yeah, it was March uh, 2014. Please describe for the jury. We had uh, an engagement party, and we decided that when we did get married, we'd have a small wedding, you know, something intimate. But, uh, you know, our lives were kind of big. His life was extremely big. Uh, and we needed to incorporate, so we wanted to have a bigger engagement party than a wedding, you know, and kind of get our guests in, our family, our friends, and have a big, a big event of it, as opposed to making the wedding something that was big and, you know, um, so we kind of put it on the engagement party and had a bunch of people, a lot of friends, business acquaintances, uh, a lot of family. I had all of my family friends and my childhood friends come out for it and, I even invited my therapist. It was, you know, a big, a big event. Okay. And describe what took place at the engagement party. Uh, well, we walk in together and we took some pictures and said a few hellos. And then Johnny disappeared upstairs uh, in, I guess it's like a coat room or something. It was in a big uh, um, abandoned building that was rented out for events. And he had disappeared upstairs um, almost the entire party, I would say, uh, it was kind of, 
came down at the end um, when we were leaving and came down once uh, because he was, at the time, sharing drugs with my dad. Objection. Speculation. Lack of foundation. How do you know that he was sharing drugs with your dad? I was there. I watched it. Please continue. Um, my dad, at the time, was uh, on the same... was addicted to the same thing Johnny was. And so my dad had um, either my dad ran out or Johnny ran out. I can't recall which of the two ran out, but there was a, you know, they, they needed more, of course, and uh, had to leave the party. My dad actually left with Johnny's security to go get more drugs from Objection West calls Hollywood. for speculation. How do you know that? Uh, they told me. Uh, uh, hearsay. To sustained the objection. And um, they left to go, whatever, and then they came back with drugs and everything was okay in terms of the, the withdrawal symptom of the, I don't know what you call it at that point. But uh, he still um, stayed upstairs. And Are when, you referring to, to Mr. Depp? Yes, I am. Okay, uh, Please So continue. shortly after that, I tried to get Johnny to come downstairs um, and he just, snapped at me, just verbally um, told me to shut the fuck up. And uh, I, I remember t talking to my mom about the irony of it. Okay. We were in an engagement party, uh, but it, that was a pretty, that was pretty much it for the engagement party. And I went downstairs and entertained uh, guests and smiled and took pictures and put on a face and, you know, went about my evening take you to May 2014, the Met Gala. Uh, could you please tell the jury what a Met Gala is and what's involved in that? Objection compound. Oh, overruled. Uh, Met Gala is a big event, annual event, uh, celebrity event uh, in New York. It's a fashion event, but it's, it's just a major red carpet event. And so you have to be invited and it's kind of um, a thing, you know, and we were invited that year. And I, uh, I had already gone for the previous year or two, uh, and this year we were gonna go together. And at some point in the evening, we're sitting across the table, and Johnny starts asking me about this woman. Um, he thought I was looking at this woman in a sexual way, and I kind of turned it around on him and said that it's Objection the, hearsay. All right. It's context, Your Honor. This is context. I'll sustain the objection. Okay. Just say what Mr. Depp said then. I guess you can't tell us what you said to him. Okay. Uh, he was accusing me of flirting. And that's how the argument started. I, I don't recall what other accusations I was fielding at that moment, but typically in my experience with him, it wasn't just one. Uh, so you'd make a point and then he would go on to a different accusation. Um, but I remember that what started it is this accusation that I had been flirting at this event. Uh, we get back to the hotel room 